Part of what? No. It's HCS. Uh, no. No, not at all. What is that? It could either be like biology, could be sociology. Let's say it's an uh, integrated mind. It's probably rather mathematical. Some type of science thing. I don't. I really don't know. The first thing that comes to mind is something on South Campus. It sounds either that or something in anthropology. HCS is human complex system. As a combination between like anthropology, communication, sociology, and you're basically learning how humans interact and communicate and yeah, how these systems function. Understanding um, issues of society and culture um, through the use of modeling computers and Wait, oh, it's a total new population. Oh, yeah, for example, we're going relational data and the algebra of friendship, and we talked about racist turtles, which um, were separated into clans. As a minor, it helps you with your major, no matter what your major is, especially if it's less of a hardcore science, to make it more of a testable hardcore science. Something that's really cool about the minors that we have our own society where uh, the members and the board members get together with faculty. It's really fun. Yeah, you should have a sweet cakers and parties. That's actually the only reason I'm in it. I, I don't drink. Human complex systems in practice for students means uh, using the computer and computational tools to help um, analyze and uh, suggest policies for social science questions. And when you have a lot of different human beings interacting, that is differences in perceptions and beliefs and goals and plans and actions, that you often get a, um, a behavior that is uh, very hard for any one individual to predict. Something like an aircraft carrier would be a human complex system or, um, or a university. You know? um, and then what makes it special is that humans have you know, another complex system in their heads. So, so you could say you have a nested complex system like human brains that are embedded in a you know, larger complex system. And uh, that makes human complex systems work um, uh, well, differently in certain ways than just straight complex systems. <laughs> We really encourage individual research projects and even in our introductory 100 class students go out and they do field work and then they gather data or do surveys, observations, whatever it is and they come back and, and analyze that and, and so it's a great way to, to pick your own topics of interest to you and to actually get research experience. And, and By studying complexity I think one learns quite a bit about, uh, about life, about natural life, about biology, about sociology, anthropology. And the minor is basically full of like new ideas, you know, ideas about complexity and evolution and self-organization and emergence and um, also collective belief systems and so on. And, uh, um, and it's just good to be part of something where there's, um, where people are, are thinking through cutting edge ideas. This is, sh it's a secret. Um, the beginning of fall of 2008, we will begin a process of creating a Bachelor of Science in Human Complex Systems and we'll be partnering with some South Campus um, departments in order to help make that happen. Well, sign up for the minor.